So I went to the Prometheus 3D opening here in uh, Washington, and I went with a lot of expectations. When I initially saw the review, I thought, what? Is this someone ripping off the Geiger style? Soon this thought turned to awe as I realized that in fact a prequel was being released to the entire alien institution. This was to be my first movie theater visit in over six years. Alright, so not entirely disappointing, but a definite empty feeling came over me with the final credits. Now, this is why. It's well understood that predators use the aliens for sport hunting, and at one time in our history, aliens were present on Earth due to the ritualistic hunting of the predators. If that's so, then why is it the first human evolution of the alien is in our distant future? And the alien and alien versus and the alien in Alien vs. Predator stories represent two separate universes? Is that how, what I'm to understand? That these are two completely different worlds, kind of like Amazing Spider-Man vs. Spider-Man Adventures? So what's the relationship between the space jockeys and the Predators? We see in the end of Prometheus that the heroine takes off on some further adventure seeking answers. Does this mean that her story will be continued? Well, we find out later that the space jockeys created the Predators as well. It seems to me the original Alien concept was, has been hijacked by the recent interest in 2012, with cave paintings of an unknown constellation leading researchers to, di to a distant planet, um, as the beginning of this movie, with the additional twist that the space jockeys created life here on Earth. I would see this movie again. It's a fantastic addition to the alien genre, primarily remaining true to the feel of the sequels. However, this is not a horror movie. Prometheus is a fascinating science fiction thriller that almost fits with its predecessors.